Lucas Media. Let's get right to it, y'all. So Casanova received devastating news. I'll post the link to the article in the pinned comment section below. So check it out. But Casanova thought that he might be able to get out, get home early. And the judge denied him, denied that, and basically said that he hasn't even served 20%. So the judge basically upheld his 15-year sentence. Now, I do know that when it comes to the federal government, you get, you can do it, you got to serve, what, at least 85%. I did my math. I know it's like 12.5 years. But I know he's been incarcerated for at least a couple years. So maybe he get home a little bit under 10. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. But he was trying to get off a little early. And he did admit to his. His part in, in the crimes that, that he was uh, accused of. You know. Uh, he got hit with a RICO charge basically. You know. And, and they said you know drug dealing. Murder. And along other crimes. And uh, they saying that it dated back to 2018, right? So Casanova, he was trying to get out, and basically the judge said, "No, you got to, you know, you got to do 188 months, which is an extremely long time." So let me unpack this. I don't, really, I really don't wish jail on nobody. I, you hate to see that somebody's locked up in a cage like an animal for 12, for over 12 years. I know he has kids and a girl or whatever, you know, and the world would be totally different when he comes out versus when he went in. However, he brought it on himself. I'm going to tell y'all why, in my opinion. I believe he was signed to Memphis Bleak at one point. And then I know he was with Rock Nation or whatever because he said Ty Ty told him if you mess up you gone. I seen you at the Rock Nation brunches, so you up there with Jay Z, billionaire, right? You got all the networking around you, and you still trying to be in the streets. Now I would be I would give Casanova not a pass, but I will understand it more. If all this happened when he was like 19, 20, you know, you could, we could chalk up, chop it up in immaturity, but Casanova is around my age. 2018 was what? Five years ago. So he was in his thirties then dude. No, you put your life in, obviously your life at risk, your freedom, your finances, your career, your career will never be the same when you get out. Now you might be able to start a record company and stuff like that. Sure. Depending on when you get out. But was it worth it? And you know, Casanova, he seemed like a cool dude or whatever, but I had I could tell you had that tough guy persona. It's clips of him all online checking people or whatever. But was all of that worth it? You being in the streets? What Fat Joe just came out and said he lied in 95% of his raps. But we still got people that want to be in the streets, but you're making music. So you one of the, the leaders of a gang, but you having brunch with Rock Nation with Jay-Z, who's connected to Robert Kraft, Roger Goodell, and all these other billionaires, 100 millionaires. We got to start learning when to give the streets, lead, lead the streets alone. The streets have, nobody's ever won the streets. Nobody. Or you might be able to name one or two people, but... It's not worth it. And people give Drake flack, but be like Drake, man. Talk about girls and have security with you and let the world make fun of you, but you laughing all the way to the bank. What would it keep it real? Get it, get it, get it for Casanova. You know, I hate to see, I hate to see that happen to somebody like that, but we got to stop putting ourselves in these type of situations. You gone for over a decade, man. Really? Cause y'all remember how the world was in 2013 compared to now? How do you think the world gonna be in, in, in another 10 plus years? It's just it, it it makes absolutely no sense. I can never understand that. 
y'all let me know in the comment section again is this one of the things where i'm tripping maybe because i'm not in the streets but i got family all around me who was in the streets and it's like you see them go to jail and it's like was it why what's wrong with just being cool and being a ladies man or whatever right whatever you whatever you're doing what's wrong with just being smooth why we gotta be out here thugging or gooning or trying to slide on somebody but for what you in your 30s it ain't even worth it and i'm assuming he got small children they're gonna be almost grown by the time he get out you gotta think about this if if i get hit with 188 months right my son 15 right now 15 years he'd be 30 <laughs> Is it worth it? You didn't miss all that time. You're going to have multiple administrations change. Technology is going to change. Uh, science and medicine is going to is, is going to improve. Why are you locked up in a cage? Because y'all want to be hard and down and, and loyal. And you don't want to be looked at as, as, as a square and somebody who just out here living a life. No, you want to be gooning. Stuff like this, man, it just, it really bothers me because this is a brother and he's somebody who's who's my age. 15 years? And the feds make you do what, 80, 85%? So that's just my quick thoughts about it. Y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel. Am I tripping? Am I disconnected? Let me know.